again. Thank you, Greg. Um, we've asked a lot about the president's use of a mask and CDC guidance, but I want to ask about CDC guidance specifically. Um, because there is, you know, going into the fall, kids going back to school, CDC still recommends universal indoor masking for kids in school, students, staff. Um, and it seems out of step with some of the studies around the usefulness of masks for kids. There was a piece in the Atlantic, and I'll just read you a quote from it. It says, we reviewed a variety of studies, some conducted by the CDC itself, some cited by the CDC as evidence of masking effectiveness in a school setting to try to find evidence that would justify the CDC's no end in sight mask guidance for the very low risk pediatric population, particularly post vaccination. We came up empty handed. So especially with the president going to Congress to ask for more money for a new vaccine and more money for the CDC, should we keep funding these studies if the CDC is not making guidance that follows the results of those studies? Here's what I'll say. Uh, we did something that the last administration was incapable of doing, which is putting to forth a strategy to really truly deal with COVID-19 and this pandemic. They were incapable of doing that. We put forth a comprehensive plan and we are now in a different place than we were two years ago, a year ago. We are in a much better place to fight COVID-19. And we have the tools, and that includes masking. That includes uh, vaccinations. And as you know, uh, CDC and FDA said they're going to have vaccine by mid-September, and we're going to make sure and con con continue to do what we have done the past couple of years is inform folks, let them know that these new vaccines are here, that they have to make sure to take the inf their flu vaccine and also the RSV. All of these things are incredibly in important uh, because we know what works. We do. I mean, we know what works. We are in a different place than we were two, three years ago. Do you, do you but let me... I mean, but the CDC does not seem to be responding to the data. I'll say this, and you're talking about schools. Um, CDC, they're the experts. They're, they use science uh, to, come to, to come forward with their guidelines, and it is important that we allow them to do their work. And we believe that we are in a different place. And all you got to do is look around. Look around to where we are today and where we are when we first started in this administration. And that's because we put forth an, an, a comprehensive plan with tools to make sure that we dealt with the pandemic, that we dealt with COVID in a real way. Let's not forget where we were when the president started off. About thousands of people were dying a day, a day, a day. And so that is, uh, that is like the reality. So clearly something that we have done from the moment that we stepped into this administration to now has worked. And that's because we followed the guidance of the CDC. We let FDA do their work. That's the scientist, that's the experts, and that's why we are in a much better place than we are today. Uh, I know you're asking me about data, but all you gotta do is look at where we are as a country. I, I know, and I, I am looking around and you know, 16 states, don't have any mask mandates, um, or sorry, 16 states follow CDC guidance closely for schools, nine states have banned school mask mandates. There's a patchwork, basically, of, of yeah, but here's the thing. And, and so when the CDC is saying one thing and people are obviously these in a better place. Here's the thing, these are guidelines by CDC. These are not mandates, provide. hold on, these are not mandates. These are guidelines by CDC, what they recommend, what they believe would work. It is up, it is up to the schools. It is the decisions of the districts uh, at a level, right, to decide what they want to do with the guidelines that they've been provided by CDC. That's why we always say go to cdc.gov where you'll get information on how that works. But I do want to say CDC uh, advice for individual and community actions, you know, they're, they're tied to uh, hospital admissions level uh, and want to be really clear. When you look at that, they are about 93% of the country. And so they... Uh, they have uh, the best information for us. These are guidelines, to be very, very clear. These are guidelines. And it is up to local officials and local, uh, local uh, leaders to decide how they want to move forward. That's why what you just laid out, it's different. There's a reason why it's different, because they make the decision. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We got to go. We got to go. Sorry, guys.